Hey guys, and welcome back to RC Tracks. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to maintain and do all the fluids on your 12th scale pan car. The fluids we're going to do today is side pods and center shock. So let's go ahead and get started. This is my CRC XTI WC that I'm going to be working on today. I'm going to do the center shock and the side dampener. So, of course, before you do this, you're going to need a few specialized tools. And that is all the tools you're going to need. So, first, let's go ahead and do the side pots. So, first, of course, we are going to have to take our trusty pliers, snap off all the side pods. And as you can see, these side pods are pretty dirty and they're in need of a rebuild. They hardly have any fluid in them, and we're just going to do a general rebuild today. So, we're going to use some uh, good old-fashioned brake clean over there. So we're going to have to resort to tissues today because, well, I don't have any shop towels at the moment. They're coming in stock, but getting some tissues. Wiping off all that extra stuff. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, we're just going to take out the dampeners right there. As you can see, they'll come right out. Over here, this is for the CRC. Then you can also take off these one on the screen real quick. And of course, we're going to be ready to spray these out with a little brake clean. And as you can see, our parts look as good as new. All that filthy, old, dirty oil is now out. Here's what we're going to do. So the oil I'm choosing is going to be uh, 10,000 weight diff oil. You want it to be pretty heavy. This is all for carpet, so anything I say might not be applicable to asphalt because I do not race on asphalt. Uh, asphalt. I only race on carpet. So. I'm going to use this uh, diff oil to go ahead and fill it. You can go look up a setup sheet online to see what you should fill yours at. First, we're going to have to screw these in. And then after that, the time, it, you don't have to get this exact, but we're just going to wait for the oil to bleed out. But first, we're going to have to open up our diff oil. I'm just going to fill it. Should take a bit for it to sink to the bottom. And you don't need much. We go. Now we're going to put our side pot in. Kind of get it all down in there. And you can see the excess should bleed out from that bottom hole. Just put it back in. I'm just going to fully compress it. Wipe all the excess off. And we got our fully functioning side pod. Now, the only thing to do is repeat the process on the other side pod. Or if you only have one, you're done. Also, another tip, you can coat the side pod with the differential oil. And if it doesn't feel quite right, try doing this. It might help get some of that extra oil in the place that it needs to go. So, yeah, that's just a little extra tip. You're rebuilding. The only thing left to do now is snap them back on. Now that we got those side pods rebuilt, it's time to move on to the center shock. The first thing you want to do is snap off, is pull off all the ball joints on it. Now here is our old center shock. As you can see, some of the oil leaked out of this one. It's not doing so hot. It doesn't feel that good. So the next thing I like to do, there's multiple ways how you can rebuild a center shock. But what I like to do, is kind of hold on to the top right here, unscrew this part first and then you can hold the top part and unscrew the little spacer you got right here and now we can pull off the spring as you can see this shock needs a rebuild now we can go ahead and twist off the other ball joint there we go 
Now the next thing, there should be a little screw, let's see if we can get it to focus. There should be a little screw hole right there, or not screw hole, screw cap. You can go ahead and thread off and pull the rest of the shock off. Now we don't want to spray too much brake, you don't want to spray brake clean on this o-ring. Just go ahead and take, there's not much oil in my shock anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and spray brake clean into this and get it all the dirty old oil out. Now that we got that all clean, it's now time to start reassembling the shock. So the first thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm using 30 weight oil for this shock. Just go ahead and dump it in there. You don't have to fill it too much because remember we will be bleeding out the excess oil. Next thing you want to do, take the top part and the piston, take the screw on cap and make sure you have <laughs> something under here. Go ahead, just kind of screw it on, and you can kind of compress it, get all that oil out, keep screwing. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and wipe off all that excess oil that was all over that shock. And there we go. So the next step I like to do is going to go ahead and screw back on this part right here. There we go. Next we're going to have to go ahead and put the spring back on. Next we're going to take this little um, ride height adjuster, preload adjuster, go ahead and start screwing that on. Next thing we're going to do is take this last top shock eyelet and screw it back on. And there we go, perfectly rebuilt and functioning center shock. There we go. Now we gotta put it back on the car. There we go. New center shock and new side pod. Well, not new, just rebuilt, but they sure feel new. And that is looking like a nice 12 scale. And that is going to be about it for this how-to video, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And hopefully, those of you that are out there that have been with me for a bit, hopefully you enjoy my new video format. I've been trying to work on making my videos a bit higher quality. And I hope this satisfies uh, my needs or whatever. So, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. RC Tracks, signing out.